Hi there, Aquarius, Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your yearly tarot reading forecast for 2020. And this reading is going to give you guys a general overview per month. So how this goes is that I pick one card per month throughout the entire year of 2020 to give you guys a more general overview on what you can expect on your year ahead. So basically, this will give you the energy outline of information that you can be anticipating and prepare for for the year of 2020 but do know that this is still a general reading so it may not always be that pinpoint accurate and going to be very specific for you i mean it can but that's not really a promise that i'm going to be giving you guys on this video because this is just a general reading so the only way to have a more specific outline and information is to get a personal and private session with me. And you can do that on my website in the stars by Chrissy.com. I'll put all the information below this video, description below this video. But um, yeah, also I would advise you guys that as you go over to this reading, go back on this um, as we enter 2020 at the middle or even at the end of the year. So you guys will know how is this really faring for you and if this reading is even becoming helpful or not. That really helps me a lot as well. So I know if I should continue on to my yearly forecast reading or not. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get on with the reading and we start off for the month of January, which is this Queen of Cups. So Queen of Cups, this is an intuitive time for you guys it could be a person it this could be you Aquarius you could be becoming more sensitive more intuitive and could be emotional all at the same time I kind of feel that for 2020 emotions is playing a big role for you it could be you're thinking about someone waiting for someone or desiring someone at this time. But you are not really taking action. That's the thing. Why are you not taking action, Aquarius? Um, that is, you know, the first thing that pop up in my mind. Because it makes me feel that there is someone that you truly love. But you're, you seem to not be taking a move or taking action. I mean... I would understand if you're a woman, but if you're a man, why are you not taking action, right? But if you are a woman, this could be a scenario wherein you're waiting for someone. Or this could be a situation maybe you got you are going to get pregnant because you do have the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is in between um, these court cards, which I call... Uh, the Queen of Cups and the King of Swords. So whenever is this kind of situation happens in the reading, regardless of the spread and layout, I kind of feel that, you know, that alone says something. Um, there could be like a pregnancy or a child bearing that could be happening. Possibly, um, you know, it can be throughout the entire year of 2020. That is just a possibility that I'm picking up over here. But um, yeah, this can be a time wherein love is definitely the theme for you. You are thinking about love. There is something about love that um, is coming into your mind and is coming into your focus at this time. And like I said, this is a very emotional time for you, um, which is always a good thing, I believe, because... You are intuitive, you are emotional, and this way you are going to proceed life based on your feelings, based on your emotions, all at the same time. And being an intuitive person myself, I would say that, you know, following your intuition can never be wrong for you, Aquarius. So follow them. Whatever messages that comes to you, especially for the month of January, do them maybe that will lead you to a better future if things did not work out for you in the past, right? So that is always a good thing. As we enter February, we do have the Page of Pentacles. So like I said, 
This could be having a child or, you know, this could be the start of your pregnancy even. Or around January. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> but this can also be a situation of learning things, studying, and really just looking forward to the future. You are accepting things the way that they are. You are learning from mistakes and learning everything from scratch. And this is a point wherein you're not impulsive. I mean, it's not as if that you are, but you can be. But this is a point wherein you are taking a practical ap approach in life. It's like a mixture of intuition and practicality. And for me, when you combine it both, not being too practical, not being too emotional, that is really that point of your life wherein you can get the best thing of both worlds it can lead you to greater heights i would say so this is always a good card to have this can also be a time of optimism it's like a child learning everything and seeing the world in all positive alignments and that is what i'm getting over here this could be also a situation wherein, you know, someone is pursuing you or you might be pursuing someone and there could be an age gap. Or, you know, it could be just going back to a childhood sweetheart. Going back to that element wherein as if you had just fallen in love for the first time. You guys might be doing things or you are taking action or someone is taking action towards you that gives that vibration and gives that element in place as we go over to march though we do have the king of swords and this is a person of great maturity and authority so you might be facing someone of an authority figure in your life it could be your boss it could be your father um i don't know it can present someone who can be very strict towards you this can also be a situation that can define how you are to the world you can be very strict you can be you know you can be that person of authoritative power to people and you know you are handling things in a very 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 practical and analytical way this can be a situation of you know having a lot of ideas that you want to accomplish in your life but you are also thinking about the how to step-by-step -step process and how to make it happen. The best thing about the King of Swords is that it can be very detailed. And whenever it has an idea of what it wants to accomplish, um, there is a pinpoint accuracy that they really want to make that happen. So, um, yeah, there is that, you know, cutting a sword, um, making sure I hit my target, that kind of situation in place. So, um, yeah, and, you know, this is not a point of being confused with life. This is a point where you gain clarity with life and you know what you want. You know what to do and you know what action that you need to take to put things forward in your life. So, um, yeah, really wonderful and positive thing. As we go over to April, we do have this two of wands and this is all about um, making plans, but you are going over it. You're not really taking action yet. I mean, you know the steps that you need to do, but maybe you are re-evaluating things. The twos are always about, you know, um, watching over things. You could be watching over someone else or it could be you're waiting for someone, anticipating some form of news. As well, since it is facing over here, it's like, you know, anticipating some form of event from a previous uh, section of your life. It could be from the past. So, um, yeah. And if you're, not, if you're asking why I'm mentioning the past, that is because the man is facing towards the left side of things. And for me, the left is the past and the right is the future. So that's really just how it goes. But it really depends depending on the channeling that i'm getting and um yeah this could be you evaluating um your life overall you know you're thinking big right now you're thinking a lot about what has happened to you in the past 
a lot of evaluation, I would say, and a lot of contemplation. Maybe you are getting ready yourself、um, into your future. I would say that the warning that I can give you for this card is that sometimes you can end up with a lot of knowledge stuck in your brain. And yes, you have experienced a lot. You have, you know a lot, and you know there's a lot of things that you know you have experience with. But what are you gonna do about it? You know, sometimes it's there are tendencies for you to have them just by ideas alone, and you're not really taking action, and you're not doing anything about it. And that is something that maybe. You need to work on because sometimes ideas are going to be ideas if you're not gonna take action on it. So follow through this King of Swords. Where and okay, I make a plan. I know the step by step process. I know how to handle things. But right now, what you need to do is action. To take action on things and not just go over your plans. As we go over to May, we do have the Eight of Swords, and this can be you stuck in an idea, stuck in a situation. There is something that you're not seeing, or maybe everything is just happening in your head. Whenever the Eight of Swords comes, it's like there's a lot of things going on in your mind, and you are feeling overwhelmed. Or it could be that there is a situation in your life that. Makes you unable to move around, you know. As you guys can see, the image over here is like a lady is wrapped. Her eyes are blindfolded, and her whole body is wrapped and tied down、um, with this、um, isolated space. So this could be a situation wherein you're trying to hide away from someone or something in your life, or. It could be a situation wherein you are just not doing anything or unable to take action for whatever reasons. There could be other circumstances that is surrounding your energy that makes you feel stuck to whatever venture you are having at this time. And do know that you do have the power. And if you don't have the power to. To move around and take action on things, because remember the eight of swords, the knot and the tie up on her body is quite loose, so she can really move around and untie herself if if she wants to. But it could be that you're just not seeing everything clearly, so you're not seeing some form of idea or answer that is, you know, existing right in front of your face. It could also be a situation where, and you just don't have that confidence to push things forward. So you are like stuck, feeling stuck, and wallowing in that stuck scenario. And like I said, you have this habit of、um, having a lot of ideas and planning things, but then you know you're thinking too much about a lot of things, positives and negatives. And whenever a negative situation comes. Um, it makes you, f- it like it's like giving you a lot of reasons not to take action on things, despite all the planning that you have done. So again, I th- personally think that the message for you guys for the year should be taking action. You know, there is so much that you can do, Aquarius. So don't give into your own reasons and why you cannot, why you don't have, why things are not happening for you, because. All you really need to do is take action on things, because you can, regardless of your circumstances and regardless of the struggle that you are undergoing at this time. For so for June, we do have this Temperance card. We have this, you know, harmonious energy. It could be making peace with someone, reconciling with someone, or having some form of peace within yourself. Trying to sort out your emotions in a very healthy way, 
in a very balanced and harmonious way. It's like you're not being too critical with yourself or with other people, but at the same time, you're not too emotional as well. So there is a right balance in things. This could be also a situation wherein some form of a light bulb happens for you. And, you know, you suddenly find the answers. You find the light at the end of the tunnel. You, um, there is just some form of positivity that can come and happen for you for the month of June. Or at the very least, that is the idea, you know, you are healing. So you're not there yet completely, but an amount of healing is already happening for you. At this time now funny thing is that I, I again have this combination of the eight of cups and the nine of swords and if you guys don't know I actually have this combination of cards in the Capricorn reading so um, I really shuffled the cards like thoroughly so I was very surprised when I saw them again so for Capricorns, they were, were together. But this time around for Aquarius, you have this, you know, Queen of Wands at the middle of things. So I don't know what that really means, but there could be a correlation to what Capricorn is going through in Aquarius. So or maybe you have both energy of Aquarius and Capricorn all at the same time. And if you do, I would recommend you, you go back and watch that video if you have the time um, just so you can navigate the energy it might say something to you that kind of thing so um anyways july we have this eight of cups and this is about going back in things this is a situation when whenever someone leaves a, a certain relationship or a certain situation but it is very temporary so i would say that this could be scenario wherein you might be going back into someone it is facing the future though but it makes me feel i don't know i just kind of feel intuitively that you are going back to someone because this this guy over here is like you know going towards this queen of wands who is not looking um not looking towards the past she is looking forward to the future so you might go back to someone as a surprise i don't know or maybe going back to someone after some form of liberation from the past i just kind of feel that there could be regrets there could be regrets here. There could be a sense of feeling sad because it's different. Um, for for Capricorn, for example, we have the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Cups all together like this. But this time around, for Aquarius, we have the Eight of Cups and the Nine of Swords here at the future area of the reading so it makes me feel that you know that alone changes a lot of things entirely in this reading and this could be a sense of regret going back needing someone's recognition so um yeah i don't know I, i'm also focusing too much on this um mountain you know a dark mountain over there so this could be a situation that you find yourself stumbling an obstacle in your life and this will make you think about the past think about the people that you have crossed the people that are actually worth it but you have um forsaken because as you all know like this is the guy that left all of these cups to pursue something else in their life regardless of what that is regardless of that what their reasoning are so um yeah but again 
this is all about dealing with a lot of emotions. You know, it doesn't have to be regrets. It doesn't have to be something negative. But you might be dealing with a lot of things that you know maybe you just find yourself telling yourself that I don't have time for this. But I just kind of feel that you know it's not something that can really make you happy overall. At the very least, at this time, so. And because you're feeling this way, you are very much open to realizing a lot of things in your life, a lot of truth into your own emotions overall as well. So as we go over to Hawkus, we do have this Queen of Wands, and this is like the person that comes into your life, or the person that you are going to、um, push forward with. Or this could also be you. I mean, it it doesn't have to be someone else. This can also represent you. I just kind of feel though that this could be a friend that comes to you. I don't know. There is a focusing energy of an ally or a friend because I'm focusing on this cat over here. You know, so this could be a situation wherein. You are a lot more positive in life, or at the very least, you're trying to be more positive. You're trying to to look good,、uh, to feel better on things. I feel that this could be a situation wherein you are waiting for things to come in your life, but you already know what action that you should be taking. I kind of feel this this could be a time of preparation for you as well. But there is a form of dullness in this energy, maybe because you are surrounded by、um, these cards. But there is an energy here of realizations and learning as a whole, being more spiritual as well, and being more.、Um, I just kind of feel that for a lot of Aquarius, the things that you think. Um, no, sorry about that. I feel that the things that, the ideas that is not workable for you, you know, I kind of feel that there is an energy here wherein you are close-minded in the past, and now you you are more open to things. You are seeing things a lot more clearly. You are more open to the possibilities of life, to whatever scenario you are going through. That is really what I mean to say here. So um, yeah, I'm not saying that you guys are close-minded. It's just that there is something that you are always denying in the past. It could be your own truth. It could be your own feelings. I don't know. Only you can know. But it is something that you are going to come into terms with within this month. And as we go over to August. We have this nine of swords. Oh, this is a card of unable to sleep at night, being miserable, of being down, a lot of negative, and I kind of feel that there is an energy here wherein you can be very critical on yourselves, blaming yourself and putting yourself down. Also, there could be a lot of nightmares and all that. I just kind of feel that this could be you. Um, putting yourself down. It doesn't have to be other people that is putting yourself down, though, because as you guys can see, this woman over here is taking a look on this nine of swords. So maybe someone is putting pressure on you, or this could be just you thinking negatively, but not showing it to other people. It's something that is happening internally for you,、um, like being a party guy or a party girl in the morning or at midday, and then at night you are this kind of person that transform into a hermit, of some kind because of all of the regrets that you are feeling and undergoing. So there could be, you know, I kind of feel that this could be tricky times for you. This. Um, first few months of the second half of the year, so um yeah, 
nine of swords even though i want to be positive for you guys this is a card of a lot of testing time a lot of um regrets sadness in the air and there's just really something that is bogging you at this time that maybe you are wanting to confront but unable to but like I said earlier, I kind of feel that for you guys, Aquarius people, the thing for you guys that you need to know is that stop putting yourself down. Stop thinking. Stop putting all of the ideas in your mind. You need to do something in your life. So, um, yeah. Also, interestingly enough, though, um, astrology-wise, you have the Capricorn energy in your chart. At your 12th house. You know. If you have uh, Aquarius rising. So if that is the case. Then it is not a surprise. If you know. Things of the past. Hidden things are creeping up in your life. Um, because they need. Some form of answers. They need some form of clarity. So it will not take no for an answer. So you need to do something. In that area of your life. So, October. I'm sorry guys for taking this video very long. October we have the strength card. So you're getting some form of energy back in your life. You are going to fix mistakes. Mend things that are not working for you. Mend um, things. Like I kind of feel that this is about you making peace. With a person that you have fought with. You know, it doesn't have to be for the month of October, but I kind of feel that there is a possibility that this entire reading is going to be the theme for you for the entire year, literally. But I'm getting here. I'm getting this here for the month of October, so it might be on October. It could be having a lot more courage to take action, to initiate something in your life and getting your energy and power back in place. Um, fixing that power fixing that scenario um, yeah that is really what I'm picking up and also this can be an entrance of some form of positivity that comes into your own field and energy at the end of the day and as we go over to November we do have the three of pentacles finally a communication comes working together a teamwork this could be a situation wherein you need to discuss something. You need to be more honest. There is a lot of planning, a lot of hard work that needs to be done. So you might be communicating with someone and trying to sort things out and fix things as a whole. So I really like this one though because if you will notice, everything that we have got so far is the card of being singlehood, being alone for whatever reason. Whether you are single or attached, there is a sense of you're dealing with things alone. You're not really working with someone in particular. You're not um, having the support of anyone but yourself. But for the month of November, you finally have a lot of people over here. So you might be communicating with someone or trying to sort things out, trying to create something to build something. Um, or a connection that needs to be happening or some form of contracts that need some form of resolution that can come for you which is always a good thing so december you have this two of pentacles this and this is about um, crafting some form of balance into two things in your life maybe work and love or i don't know some form of balance needs to be exercised but i kind of feel that this is just about you um finally having the answers that you are seeking all your life or all year you're finally attaining them and right now this is all about maintenance of everything that is in your life so that no one is lost no one is gonna be left out and you know you're not gonna be losing anyone precious and important to you anymore that is really the focus over here and before I forget, though, we also have the advice card of this Wheel of Fortune. And this is a point of having faith coming into place. A very karmic time. 
thoughts. And this can also be a situation wherein, you know, action needs to be happening. I kind of feel that for a lot of Aquarius people, you are so used to waiting. You are so used to letting things happen in your life, letting faith and karma run its course. And this is like a lesson for you that things are about to move forward in your life and sometimes you also need to, to play an important role. Basically, this is a scenario wherein some form of opportunity can come for you. But at the end of the day, opportunities are just opportunities. You need to grab hold of it. You need to take action. You need to do something to get this um, wheel going basically and do know that you can achieve them and don't be so fearful of what has not worked in the past because this time around i'm quite positive that you know you will be able to work things out you cannot do things alone aquarius even though i know that a lot of aquarius people are quite independent and want to be free and they don't want to be tied down and bogged down by unnecessary things in their life but this is really a situation that tells us that Sometimes you just need to work together with someone and there is just an important lesson, an important factor with that energy in place. So um, yeah, I know this video has gone extra long for you guys. I'm so sorry about that. There's just a lot of information that I wanted to share here for you. Um, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. Please do know that for to get a more personal and predictive situation for you specifically you can do that on my website in the stars by chrissy.com slash services i'll put every information down below the description of this video and if you haven't really subscribed to my channel yet please do so um, by hitting the like share comment below if you like and don't forget to hit the bell icon okay i'll see you guys again next time